Um, one of our students and teacher from the teacher's course uh, asked a very interesting question, uh, which is, why do we say go backstage and meet me backstage? Uh, you can't talk backstage and not uh, at backstage, on backstage or go to backstage. And then she also pointed out that uh, something similar uh, happens to the word home, right? I like to stay home uh, is much more common than I like to stay at home, okay? And after class I'll go to home is almost never used and it's pretty unacceptable. I will go to my home doesn't sound nice, right? Um, I'll go to my house, then we'll, we'll have something, okay? I think uh, the secret uh, to answer that is the category of the word home, downtown, uh, backstage, um, so on and so forth, right? Those words are not actually nouns because you expect the rule to be now, a verb, for example, a verb of movement, and then you have the preposition and you have the noun, right? After class, I will go to the supermarket, right? After class, I will go to, um, I don't know, to that uh, park, okay? Those words are actually adverbs, you know? And uh, if you take a look at, for example, the free dictionary, by the way, in the description I have uh, included uh, the, the entry for uh, backstage, you know? And I will uh, include as well the, the entry for home, okay? So you will find in the backstage entry that first of all you have adverb, you know? That's very important for us, even though we are not used to uh, checking the category. I know, of course, if you're just looking for a word and you don't have any problems with the grammar, that, that's okay. But if you do, if it's something that intrigues you, check, you know, uh, the category of the word. You can also check uh, the verbs, if the verb is transitive, intransitive, okay? Um, those things are are gonna help you. All right? Okay, so backstage. What is backstage? As an adverb, in or toward the area behind the performance split space. Look, the definition is not the area behind a performance space. The perform the the definition is in or toward uh, the area behind a performance space. Okay. Uh, and you'll see that you can use backstage as an adjective as well, you know. Uh, let me see if the sentence I have here is good. Backstage passes at a concert. Okay, yeah, backstage passes. You know, you have like a special ticket. Uh, you can show the, the, the security guards there, right? So it's a backstage pass. Uh, pass. Yes, backstage pass. Uh, well, if we take a look at the word home again I'm using the free dictionary and inside the free dictionary we have uh, um, American Heritage Dictionary which is a hugely uh, informative dictionary you have home as a noun uh, for example a home for the elderly right and then you have home as an adjective for example, home cooking, you know, uh, home office would be a very common example. And then you have home as an adverb, going home for lunch. And then you are going to tell me, okay, but when do I, when do I know uh, if home is an adjective, is a noun, or is an adverb? Because of the way you use it, okay? And uh, then you will ask me, how will I be able to use it? By practicing, you know, so th there is something related to memory there. But think about it. If home is an adverb, so are here and there. If you think about it, let me see if I have any 
in a beautiful sentence. Let me just copy this link because while I'm recording this video, I'm also preparing the links for the description there. Um, okay, um, if, you, if you take a look at there and here, which are adverbs as well, they are uh, adverbs of, um, of, uh, of place, right? Uh, you don't say, I will go to there. It could be if you think about it, right? It, it should be like uh, I will go to there because I'm I'm going uh, um, in that direction. As a matter of fact, we say I will go to that place. Okay. Uh, why do we say I will go to that place and I will go there? Because place is a noun, but there is an adverb. Okay. Um, I think I've got uh, nice examples from of other adverbs that are like this, and uh, and it explains a lot of things teachers usually give to their students as exceptions. And I think it's 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 fine. Depending on the student, we don't need to explain to them every single little detail of grammar because you may complicate their life lives rather than helping them but for us it's, it's very nice to, to have that in mind look you have words like abroad right we never say she will she will live in abroad okay she will live abroad okay so it, it, now etymologically speaking it seems that in some of those adverbs you know uh, through time they have transformed into adverbs because they kind of have the preposition inside. But this is just an etymological uh, inquiry here, all right? Because backstage, what is a stage? A stage is a noun, right? On the stage. She will walk to the stage, right? Um, but backstage is already a preposition there inside of the word, okay? Abroad is... I don't know if we could make the same uh, etymological uh, thought. Maybe I'll record a video specifically about about abroad, but it's like in another place rather than my country. Okay, and then you have anywhere. I'll go anywhere with you. Okay, it's not I will go to anywhere. Right, downstairs, here, home, nowhere, outside, somewhere, there underground upstairs okay so please uh, go upstairs and pick up my TV that is there right where is Philip he's upstairs right he's not on upstairs in upstairs at upstairs right I will also uh, send uh, I mean post the, the link for this very informative grammar here okay so keep in mind that in the end for us we should know that those words are adverbs and adverbs don't take prepositions okay and uh, we should also keep in mind that sometimes you just explain uh, to students that they have to remember it because if you think about it now that we know the rule we still have to remember the words that are adverbs you know we have some hints we have some uh, you know clues to help us realize that but in the end we still have to count on memory now if you're talking to a student that is struggling uh, with the language the students already st st struggling with the the memory right so maybe um, you just uh, teach them the cases and uh, let this explanation when they are more mature okay that's not to say that maybe a student that is more rational uh, rational meaning loves rationality and loves rules uh, shouldn't receive that kind of information right, in, right up in the beginning.